U.S. small business lending activity for July is up 13 percent year over year, but down nearly 7.5 percent from a month ago. Here with the latest Thomson Reuters Paynet Small Business Lending Index is Bill Phelan, president of Paynet. Bill, welcome. Thank you. Small business lending had been recovering. While it's up from a year ago, it's down from June. So what happened? Well, yeah, Paynet collects real-time data on millions of small companies in the U.S. And what we find in this latest release is uh, we analyzed $890 billion worth of loan information. And we see the index is at 89.5. That's, as you mentioned, a 13% year-over-year increase. And it's the 12th consecutive double-digit increase uh, by just by count of months uh, over the last each of the last uh, 12 months so it really is a, a pretty strong showing now as you mentioned it's a seven percent decrease from June's numbers and while that might look like a step backwards we don't really think that that's a major uh, you know just a, a, a major issue for this release uh, June has more business days than July June is a quarter end obviously July has a holiday so we normally see July a little bit softer than June, and uh, the 13% number is a really good increase for us. Was July, was there any impact at all by what was happening in Washington? We kept hearing anecdotally that people were on hold, waiting for some sort of resolution from Washington. Does that come out in the numbers at all? Well, well yes. I mean, certainly the uh, downgrade of U.S. debt has had a, uh, a hit on consumer and small business confidence. Uh, and the way these small businesses have reacted is by getting their financial houses in order. And what we see in the numbers is that the moderate loan delinquencies uh, fell again for, you know, uh, to an all-time record low since 2005. They're at 1.78 percent for 30-day loan delinquencies. What we also see is that the severe loan delinquencies, these are the most, uh, you know, the worst loan delinquencies uh, that a business can have actually fell as well to 0.52 percent. So across the board, we're seeing the small businesses react to this, uh, this shaking confidence by getting their financial houses in order. And uh, it's only really strengthened the, the small businesses' financial picture, really, by uh, forcing them to uh, uh, you know, lower their debt levels and be more current on their payments. Overall, how would you characterize the small business economy currently? Well, you know, the significance of our loan index is that it's a leading economic indicator by two to five months. And so this, this release uh, actually shows a, a very healthy increase. Uh, but overall, uh, we're kind of seeing what we're calling a slog, if you will, a slow growth economy. This is an economy where uh, we've averaged about a 1% monthly increase in the, in the index for each of the last 12 months. That's not a really robust type of recovery after a recession like we just had. The other uh, thing that we see in this index is kind of a sawtooth pattern. We see two steps forward, one step back. So uh, we're really seeing that uh, the economy is growing. Uh, the uh, index signals some future expansion in gross domestic product, but albeit it's a very slow uh, expansion and a very slow recovery. And Bill, heading into the fall, what do you typically see? What are you going to expect in the next couple of months based on your understanding of the index in previous years? Well, what we see in the index is that, uh, that you know, year end is oftentimes a, a, a pretty strong buying pattern for for small businesses. Uh, they've got year-end budgets and they're trying to fill the year-end budget. So we expect to see that, but really it gets down to jobs. And what you see in the data is that is kind of this mixed picture on the job front. We see that uh, jobs are not going to recover anytime soon as evidenced in the data from our small business uh, information. We see that, uh, you know, uh, I guess the, uh, the challenge is uh, startup companies are not, are not uh, not, not coming online, the, the number of startup companies are smaller than they've been at any time since 2007. So we're not seeing a huge increase in the number of startups. And that's a special study that Payne is coming out with in, a few, in about a month. The, the, the good news, though, is the data shows that less small businesses will go out of business over the next 12 and 24 months. So it's really a mixed picture on jobs. We're going to see uh, less jobs lost because of businesses going out of business, but we're not going to see as many jobs created just because the startup activity isn't there yet. 
And so I think we're going to continue to see this kind of slogging growth that I mentioned earlier, and uh, that's really what we see for the future uh, uh, based on the data. Bill Phelan, president of PayNet. Thanks very much, Bill. I'm Rhonda Schapler. This is Reuters.